こんにちは<笑>こんばんは Welcome to u n i m c u n i s ASMR It is really nice to have you here so thank you for coming and being with me today I did a、um, makeup video in January and a few things have changed and I wanted to share you share with you、um, an updated version of how I do my makeup before I film、um, and before I stream so if you would like to join me it's gonna be a really sort of、um, relaxing In a very whispering ASMR way、um, of how I get my makeup done, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't have anything on right now. I have just worked a full day、um, at my normal day job, and so I have sunscreen on and、um, I have filled in my eyebrows just. Stream after work. This is exactly what I do to get ready for、um, streaming and filming.、Um, if I go to work, currently I'm working from home, so if I go to work, to work, I obviously have a base of makeup very simple foundation, powder,、um, eyeliner, and mascara, and my eyebrows filled in. But,、um, I'm currently working from home. I don't do any makeup at all. I just have my sunscreen on,、um, which has been really nice for my skin to give it a rest. So, today we will start from the very start and I will show you everything that I use to get ready for filming and streaming. The amount of makeup I use is probably a little bit. Especially highlighter <laughs> than if I was to just go out and about. I like to put a lot of highlighter on so that I'm glowing, 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 glowing. So, first off, I just want to put my hair back. I've got these clips, so. Moisturizer with 
the Paulus Choice Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. This does have retinol in it, but it can go um, around the eyes because it's not that high in retinol. So, and whereas a lot of other retinols, you can't put it around the eye area. So I like that this one you can. So I mix this, put a little drop of this, and then I also have a drop of the Earth Sourced Power Berry Serum, uh, which is with 15 fruit extracts. I mix this concoction together <laughs> and I go like this. Like that. And I just go all around the eyes and the face. So I just put this aside. I wanted to show you that. I really recommend Paula's Choice. Um, and they even shipped to New Zealand. So and um, always really good sales, discounts on the products. And of course, I can't stress enough the importance of sunscreen. So you may think that if you're not going outside that you don't need sunscreen, but the um, UVA rays from our phones, our computers, computer screens, um, all of that, that doesn't burn us. Essentially, that is actually penetrating into our skin, into the layers of our skin and basically attacking our collagen. So sunscreen is really important and um, it, it's important to get one that's right for you too because it can some sunscreens can really hurt around the eyes or burn or pill um, so it's really important for you to get one that works for you so these are what work for me I once I've moisturized I start with two pumps of the La Roche Posay 50 plus SPF UVB which is how we get how we burn and the UVA which is obviously from screens and stuff like that so it's a broad spectrum sunscreen. So I start with this, I put it all over my face, especially around my eyes, around here. And then I go in with the La Roche Posay 50 FPF SPF PA plus 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 UVA Melt and Cream. Um this mm, it's like it's a squirt kind of thing, it's not a pump, so really important for you to get sunscreen. I'm very lucky because I am so pale. I can get away with wearing um, non-chemical, so natural physical sunscreens, which is where it does leave a white cast. I'm very lucky because I am so light-skinned that the white cast isn't obvious on my skin. Um, but I know um, people, um, people of colour generally really struggle with that. So it's really good to investigate some chemical sunscreens that will work for you. Um, I'll just put that back here. And then once I've done that on my neck, I go with the Paula's Choice Chemical Sunscreen. Um, this one I don't put around my eyes. I leave that up to the others. Um, I just find around my eyes it irritates my eyes. So This is also broad spectrum SPF 15. Um, with antioxidants or skin types. This shouldn't leave a, um, a cast because I believe it's mostly chemical sunscreen. Um, it's a mix of chemical and physical. So this is on the neck and around here and here. And I go here but I just don't go on the lid and I do go underneath but I don't go anywhere down there. Um, and that just works for me. So sunscreen is really important, so don't forget, okay? <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with the foundation. So I have this cute little heart. No, let me put that there. Oh, whoopsie, so we don't need it that bright. <laughs> there we go. And what I do 
as I mix um, the Estee Lauder, I just forgot its name, Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. I've had this one for a while. I like Estee Lauder for their foundation and their powders. This is 0N1 Alabaster, it's their lightest shade. This is too light for me on its own, so I like to mix it with the Estee Lauder, um, I can't, I can't see it down here, Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for face and body. I used to wear a lot of this one, the, um, the Double Wear Maximum, when I had really severe acne. It really helped to cover a lot of the redness, um, but now, um, for going on Accutane for the second round, I don't have that problem anymore, but I do like to mix it with this, as this is, um, one in one, so it's a little bit darker. So these two shades together, in my opinion, make the perfect shade for me. So I don't need much. I don't need that much. Um, even when I go to work, I don't have very much going. And with my little spatula, I go mixy, mixy, mixy. on the spatula, I just put on my chin, like that, <laughs> and then I get my dampened sponge. This is EXO Beauty, Shane EXO's is one, I actually, it's great shipping, because they're based in New Zealand, so I actually really like her sponges, a lot, um, so, and I just do my chin. people that get red cheeks and red noses. <laughs> this is why people of colour just are so beautiful because they just have such good complexions. Like guru or definitely not an artist, that's for sure. I just stick with what I know and I continue to do that. <laughs> so, don't take advice from me. <laughs> but I wanted to share this with you. Okay. So that's looking pretty good for me. Pretty good. We'll just put this aside because you don't need this anymore. Just over there. After that, I then go in with foundation. After that, foundation. 
my little Innisfree sponge in my Makeup Revolution transparent powder which as you can see is basically finished finishing and I just go in I try not to breathe it in and I go around the nose above here because I wear glasses so I need to kind of make sure that the foundation is sort of set by the nose where my glasses will go and I do go on top of my my eyelids and the chin and the bottom. is translucent powder loose they go in with the same spongy thing what's this called? I've forgotten and then just by the nose again where the glasses will go glasses and sunglasses so around the nose I know this is not proper, but you know, I know there are so many other ways of doing makeup, but this is what I like to do. Okay, not much. Not much. So now that that's finished, just put that aside. I grab the Estee Lauder what is this called? 1N2 Double Wear Stay In Place Powder Makeup so this I also got it's actually broken <laughs> but this I got when I had my really bad acne as well so it's actually quite old I dropped it and so it broke and I've got this oopsies, this sort of very thin just grab it out of its broken <laughs> container and I see so you can see it gets quite a bit of product just by one or two swipes and then I go by my red nose and where my glasses will go I try and just cover my red nose and cheeks just a little bit more and the eyelids We go into eyebrows. So, I'll show you something. If I take off where I filled in my eyebrows today, I'll show you. You can tell by my eyelashes, but oh, this will make more sense. It's still a bit on. As you can see, I have gaps in my eyebrows and that's because I have trichotillomania. So I pull out my eyebrows and eyelashes when I'm um, stressed, when I feel there's kind of tension within my body, when I'm alone, um, when, when I feel anxious. So I have gaps in my eyelashes and gaps in my eyebrows, which means I do do my makeup a little bit differently um, to how 
I guess others would if one had a full set of lashes and eyebrows. So, this is where my beautiful, I love this, palette comes in. I love this palette so much. It's just so beautiful. The Natural Love Palette by Too Faced is very uni's aesthetic. So, I go in. So, I filled it in during the day to make me feel a little bit better. Um, when I film, obviously, it can't go in like this, so just make sure they are going upwards. And I grab, oh, I'll just get, make sure I have a to clear it. This tissue just there. Um, and I do. to use in my Twitch streams as a, as a trigger. But I've got this Shane Exo's winged liner brush. Um, which I use for my eyebrows as well. Um, just to make it a bit easier. So I actually get the, what is this called? Black. I get the stiletto. <laughs> the colour stiletto. Then I go in to the gap first and I just fill that out. This instantly makes me feel better about my eyebrows when I do this. And I just follow the hairs that I have. consumed with my hair pulling and I like to joke about it and I don't want to hide it so um, it just helps me cope with it a lot more if I don't keep it like in myself and hide away from anything. I used to, I couldn't joke about it. I used to get really upset, but I mean, I still do. It's still sad. Especially the eyelashes. But it is what it is, I guess. I try to stop, but I think it's just one of those things that it's just so hard, you know. So I make sure, I mean, my eyebrows never look the same. At least sisters, not twins, that's for sure. <laughs> Need to just get up close here. Make sure I'm looking okay. <laughs> that's okay. Just make sure I clean off. doing say two videos a night and they are very like Japan inspired, anime inspired I, and I'm kind of in the mood for it, I will wear um, circle lenses like something like this I do have one day ones because I purchased them a while ago now so I'm trying to kind of use them so they don't sit around for too long but I love enlarging eye enlarging circle lenses it's one of my hobbies I just think they're so cool and they make me look, I guess, more anime, which I quite, <laughs> I know it's sad, I quite like that. So, I will say, after doing eyebrows, put in these lenses and then finish off with the eye makeup, but um, I just wanted to show you them because, um, as an example of this Angel Colour Bambi series, I do really like, um, and that's what I would do next and then finish off with the eye makeup, but sometimes I'm just in the mood to do it or I'm really in the mood to put them in but so it just depends 
on how I'm feeling so I would then put the, that in those lenses in and then move on to the eye makeup my eyelashes are um, very sparse from me pulling them out so I need to go really um, in with the eyeliner I like powdered eyeliners um, because I find them easier to use on my skin so I'll go in with the stiletto again just a black I always go in with black and um, I literally go in right where the eyelashes are growing not above but like really in there to give it that definition that I'm missing because None of this is very precise, just so you know. Go in there, then I do the next one. I need to make a face when I do it. <laughs> that. Go in further right to the end. Corner, sorry. And then I thicken it up. It's quite thin and I thicken it up And that's when I go on top I'm quite blind so I need to So this basically is what I would do for work. I'd go with mascara and then I'd head out the door. But um, because we've got actual filming to do, I then go in. I know my process and the steps aren't quite right, but then I go in with this pink cheeks and poodle. It's very sparkly and I go over the lid. And up to the brow bone. Also into the corner and um, below the eyes, the where my bubble, my nummy double could all go. Should have done this first, shouldn't I? <laughs> that would make more sense. <laughs> That's okay. Then I just really get in there with the glitter the sparkles. And I've got some in my eye. Try my best. <laughs> my face this out. It's not really a wing because I can't really do wings but I'll just bring it out. Just a little bit. <laughs> It'll get covered by the um, lashes anyway but they don't look even because my eye shape is different on both sides. And I get Night Fever, just a little bit, just like a little, just a little bit of Night Fever. And I sort of smudge out the eyeliner. So I start in the corner and I just smudgy, smudgy. I like it when it's not so, not such a harsh line. Fever 
again for this eye. enough of that. And then <laughs> I go in with this trusty, I love this brush, I define a brush. So it's flat. And this one I get like a dark nude. So we go nudey. Get quite a good amount on there. And then we go and make the nummy double good on. So just where I would, where my bag is. And I make it more of a under eye bag and it makes my eyes look bigger. So it's like what Japanese people do. And I really like it. So my friend taught me how to do it, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it okay. I just do it in my own way. And like that. And make it so there's like an under eye bag. Nice matte colour. just like to clean up the eyes with a q-tip so because sometimes the eyeliner just sort of runs on my eyes and it's probably because I don't have like a mm, what is it called I don't have a like I don't use a primer and I don't use a proper powder so that's probably why I just but you know what that's okay. <laughs> and just make sure it's cleaned up. Now, we are almost there actually. So this is where I get a bit, it gets tricky for Uni McUni because I'm not very good at doing eyelashes. <laughs> but I am getting better. So my favourite ones are by Ardell the most natural um and these faux mink ones i haven't used yet but um, i really like their wispies and their demi wispies um i really like and i never have to cut them down they're like the perfect um length for my eyes my small eyes so so something i really like to use um but today we're gonna open a new one we're actually gonna oh, there goes the <laughs> there goes the fairy lights we're gonna actually do bit of a gotta actually do a little cutting session um because these are a little bit too long okay normally I have like proper kind of tweezery things but I find that I use those too I left those at work so I have to use my, my fingers and it's okay because my nails aren't long at the moment so I need to pull them out take it out of the case oh, let's start with the right eye just gently I'm very bad, I've ordered a few more from AliExpress um, because they're very they're good for like if you don't want to take care of your <laughs> false eyelashes you can just, they're not too expensive so I quite like, and this is the first time using this style mm. hopefully I'm not oh there we go so what we want to do is cut one chunk of the end of um, because 
because it's just too long for my little eyes. So there's one little chunk there. And then this little tip has some extra. We don't like that. That irritates my eyes. There we go. It's that one done. Let's do the other one. Cutty, cutty, make cut, cut. It's like little craft time. <laughs> little craft time with you. you maintain that curve as well as much as you can. I know I definitely see there we go. That's not good. Let's put that back to that curve of the eye. Okay we'll cut this one here. So I just cut the front bit off so you never cut from inside the eye. I'm just cutting this weird long bit off because I don't like that it irritates my eye. But you want to cut from the end if you're going to sh um, trim them. So here it is here. Let's make sure, <laughs> make sure I've got it. Oh. This way is better. There we go. <laughs> Goes fine. So each time I do my eyelashes, which is <laughs> always something always goes wrong. And I actually think I'm allergic to the latex. I have this duo strip lash adhesive white clear. I think next time I'll buy a black one, but I'm actually concerned because I know my eyes get really red <laughs> after I put those eyelashes on. So I'm thinking actually be a little bit allergic to the latex so I might have to get a latex free one next time instead <laughs> but um I'll use this one up first I've got the little lashes there hmm could probably be shorter one more but let's try it <laughs> let's love on the edge so with my duo I'm just putting I mean I'm not very It's probably quite a bit too much. Okay, I get a bit excited sometimes. Then I count to 30. Each ni sa yo go look nana hat kyu chu chu it chu ni chu sa chu shi chu go chu rok. sit in the middle. 
Couldn't get a little cute. Um... a liquid I'm gonna fly away. <laughs> so now, highlightery. So I love this Wet n Wild highlighting powder in Blossom Glow. It is better than it's better than my like sixty dollar highlighter. Honestly, it's so good. And I get the Spectrum A07. Lip. <laughs> 
tiny in this little whatever this bit's called. Just get right in there. But like this. And then uh, the chin. Chinny chin chin. Okay. That's what I use with this brush. Now I gotta go back in with that next brush. B06 and I go for it like all across. <laughs> oh, you can never have enough highlighter. Then here, whatever this part is called. It's just you want more when you film because the camera just doesn't pick it up. I smile. As you know, I don't do contouring, I don't do blush. I couldn't, I can't do it to save myself, to be honest, so I just don't bother. <laughs> just here on the lip again, I'll just blend that in. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> I love highlighter, I love this highlighter. Completely recommend if you're out for a really affordable it actually works. This is just the bomb. The bomb. Just so good. Okay. Now, what we want to do is make sure that that glue... Okay, that's doing pretty good. It's drying up, so now we can go in with this. And I'm just doing the corners. The corner of my eyes. Just to bring that out a bit. I find the highlighter is just the best for that. And I'll just get another Q-tip. This part, this part is like the best part, I think. And I'll just tidy up in my waterline again. I realise these eyelashes are like a lot, but generally on camera, even if it's like a lot, it just looks like right on camera is what I've noticed. It's like a lot of highlighter in real life, Ooh, but on camera, like it looks really good. Oh, sorry, sorry, my <laughs> opening my mouth like that. And I'll get this, and I'll just go above my nami tabukuro. Doesn't that like bag that I created to like bring it out? And I'm just going to. Always do this one. Just gonna get a bit more of the nudie color and back out my bag just in the center, just in the center of the eye, just in the center of the eye. To make it a bit more, a bit more obvious, it's too hard to tell though. Okay, so that's all good. Dolly Wink um, Precision Black Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner, and I sort of just fill in the sort of the gappy areas. It's very, I've had this for a while. It's a very thin, it's a great eyeliner, honestly. If you want Japanese eyeliner, this is Dolly Wink is amazing. Just bring this forward. Some of the faces we make to, to do makeup. <laughs> and I don't. 
don't get too concerned with, you know, the sort of the does it blend in with the eyeliner, the eyeshadow, eyeshadow eyeliner. I'll just get a little bit of black though for today, but sometimes I don't have time. Totally recommend. Stands out a lot in videos. I get a lot of comments. What do you have on your lips? And I like to reply with gold. <laughs> I did. There you go. That's the Jua. Lip topper. Now. I believe this is the finished look. <laughs> this is how I look when I stream or film. This is how I do my makeup. Um, let me just put my glasses on see if it fits. Glasses take little clippity clips out. Okay, so I went hard in with the um with the good old highlighter, I can tell that <laughs> obviously I wasn't seeing very well. And this is it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, my precious, precious, precious being. Any questions? Let me know in the comments below. I love, I love the lashes. They're so, so massive. And this was all the products that I use on a regular basis and fully recommend if you're interested.